I know thy works and tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. Welcome to the Black Excellence and Abundance Channel. The Black Excellence and Abundance Channel asks the question, what would the world be like without black inventors? Thomas L. Jennings was the first black man to receive a patent. The patent was awarded on March 3, 1821, U.S. Patent Number 3306X, for his discovery of a process called dry sourcing, which was the forerunner of today's modern-day dry cleaning. In essence, Thomas Jennings invented the dry cleaner. The patent to Jennings generated considerable controversy during this period. Slaves at this time could not patent their own inventions. Their effort was the property of their master. This regulation dated back to the United States Patent Laws of 1793. Imagine that, folks. Many slaves had inventions that they had no rights to, based on the laws of that time. And people say blacks in this country should not get reparations. Black people should get reparations based on the inventions alone, as well as so many other things that shows that we absolutely deserve reparations, and we will not stop until we get them. The regulation was based on the legal presumption that the master is the owner of the fruits of the labor of the slave, both manual and intellectual. Patent courts also held that slaves were not citizens and therefore could not own rights to their inventions. In 1861, patent rights were finally extended to slaves. Thomas Jennings, however, was a free man and thus able to gain exclusive rights to his invention and profit from it. Jennings was a passionate abolitionist who used the income from his invention to free the rest of his family from slavery and fund abolitionist causes. Just think for a minute, folks. Thomas Jennings actually had to purchase the freedom of his family. Could you imagine that? He had to work hard and save up money just so his family can enjoy the freedom of the good old USA. After purchasing his wife's freedom, he and his wife had three children, Matilda Jennings, born 1824, Elizabeth Jennings, born March 1827, and James E. Jennings, born 1832. Matilda Jennings was a dressmaker and the wife of James A. Thompson, a Mason. Elizabeth Jennings was the wife of Charles Graham, who she married in June 1860, while James E. Jennings was a public school teacher. Jennings built a business as a tailor and was well respected in the community. He also supported the abolitionist movement and became active in working for civil rights of free African Americans. He was active on issues related to immigration to other countries, opposing colonization in Africa as proposed by the American Colonization Society. The Black Excellence and Abundance Channel would like to posthumously congratulate and thank Thomas L. Jennings and the many great minds of black men and women for their countless inventions and contributions to everyday life. These men and women do not get the credit or recognition for their brilliance, so we are here to remind everyone of their contributions. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And remember, Thou art rich.